The purpose of this video is to review how subscription products work in conjunction with Odoo's e-commerce, uh, specifically when processing payments and seeing how uh, credit cards are saved in the background, etc. Uh, I've received three questions from someone in the community, um, and we're going to walk through these today, right? So if you sell a subscription product on the e-commerce, first off, when selling subscription products on e-commerce, we should know how to do that, right? We go to products, we see we have a subscription, right? Well, first, maybe I should look at the apps I have installed to help you with that. So you'll see specifically you need website, invoicing, sales, accounting, e-commerce, um, and subscriptions. Those are the only apps you would need installed to do this workflow. The rest here in this example is just so we have a product created. Um, we'll also see here when you ever you install subscription and you go to configuration templates, it automatically gives us two templates. And in this, you, know, you can always create additional templates to accommodate any type of uh, billing frequency that you want. But in this case, we just have a monthly subscription which invoices once every month, and you'll see it only. Uh, creates the invoice after a successful payment and the payment is made successful by the credit card authorization being approved by whether that's authorized.net, Stripe, and Jenko, etc. So with that being said, let's go back to the product and you'll see we have a product I just named monthly subscription with this price in the um, sales tab here. You'll see I've linked, I've marked, yes, it's a subscription product and I've linked the template which I want to reference every time I sell this product. So this is the billing model, essentially, that will govern the billing behind this product uh, once a subscription sold. I went to the website. Once I've built this product out, I made it publishable. And I'm going to go over here. And this is the same website. I'll go to shop. Now I'm imitating a customer in incognito mode. Um, once I'm here, I can select my subscription that I want to purchase and add it to the cart. Process the checkout as I would in a normal environment. I'll just use my own information here, except a fake. Um, perfect. Next. And here, this is where you need to do a little extra configuration. So before I process this payment, I'm going to go back into the environment and show you how to set this up. So we go to Payment Acquires. That's the name of model we want to go to in order to configure this and you'll see here we have stripe so I'm gonna walk you through the configuration first make sure that you when you select the state select test mode that means it's able to function Second, there's these different keys here there's a stripe secret key publishable key here you can find those keys and I can send these to you if you'd like um, anyone just email at nkodo.com and I'll send these over to you. But these are the publishable keys that we have in our test account, uh, which allow us to um, right, process fake transactions and things like that. Next, you're going to want to make sure you have a payment flow in Odoo. It's just a smoother workflow when you allow for it to happen in Odoo. And here on the journal, uh, get into the habit of going in, especially if this is the Stripe journal, and making sure that you select the uh, payment method types equal to electronic. Lastly, you will be able to, I believe it's, is it here? Or I can tell this to save the credit cards, but I think it will just do it automatically. So once you've done all this, then your Stripe account is set up. It is that easy. And we'll go back here, and the fake stuff is just 4242, oops, 424242, all the way down the line, and click Pay Now. And this will process the phony transaction, and it will also generate all the necessary records in Odoo's backend as if it were a real transaction. So we'll wait for this to process. There it is. Sell order number two is confirmed. Now we can go into our orders. And you'll see sell order number two at the top of the list. Customer came from the website. It's fully invoiced. If we open it up, you'll see here's our invoice here. Our subscription activated. Open up uh, the invoice, and you'll see here the transaction was processed with Stripe. Right? If I drill into the actual transaction, I can see here the saved payment token or the customer's credit card that has been saved. Odoo is PCI compliant. Uh, what does that mean? It means that it is securely credit card information, that is. Um, so how it works is that 
a Stripe issue, right? Let's say a customer enters in a credit card information online. The reason why it, you know that we entered that in in this kind of funky looking field here is because that information actually doesn't flow directly into Odoo. It flows directly to Stripe. Stripe the information, it stores it, and it also matches it with its own unique identifier, right? Its own string of numbers. And what Stripe does is then it sends those string of numbers back to Odoo. And Odoo actually ho holds a string of numbers that is in no way correlated with the credit card information. So should someone break into Odoo's data um, and, and find right this string of numbers, there's nothing that they can do with these numbers. Uh, so how it works then is oh, since Odoo has these numbers and Odoo has a sync with, with Stripe, when Odoo wants to process this credit card again in the future, it sends this string of numbers to Stripe. Stripe decodes the numbers, matches it with the corresponding credit card, charges the credit card, and voila, that's how it works. So that's how we can stay PCI compliant and, uh, and ensure that customers' data is safe in the system and that you know there's integrity there. So with that being said, Payment token saved. Obviously, I go into the partner record here and more under credit cards. There it is. And let's go back to the sale order. And here you'll be able to see the subscription that was generated. I can see the customer, the start date, the next invoice date, right? We're going to invoice next on uh, 522. And again, because of how we had the subscription configured, it will create the invoice when the credit card is effectively charged. And uh, yeah, that's that's how it works. And there's the token that it's going to charge when it looks to this subscription to bill the next month. So let's just make sure I got everything. So the subscription is generated upon confirmation of the sale. Yes, when the uh, credit card information is, that's what confirms the sale online. If you want to generate the uh, sale some other way, then you can always go in and define here. Do you want it to be generated with a signature? Um, no possible way to generate it or signature and payment. So you'll be able to have that option there. Is the invoice generated automatically after payment made on e-commerce with payment methods such as Stripe? Yes. So we've just gone through that. And are the payment information well kept from the payment of e-commerce to charge next time? Yes. So we've gone over all three of those items. Um, if you have any additional questions on how this works, feel free to let me know, and I'll be more than happy to review it with you. Thanks.